Hi everybody. Get the bus on actually. Before I start off. So this is Jamila. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she's very chatty, which means that when we start recording, we can almost guarantee she's going to say nothing. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, let's put it on that. They say don't talk with the driver. Don't talk with the driver, yeah. So we'll start the car when you're ready, please. When, when you say to do so, we'll move off. So we've got a hill start. Right shoulder. Don't forget right shoulder. And you're about to go. So we're just going to drive around Bletchley, lots of meeting situations, speed bumps, things like that. Remember how fast you go over them? Yeah. Go on and tell me. Sorry? How fast you go over a speed bump? 10. <laughs> These ones about 15, <laughs> 20, depends on how, how high they are. Yeah. The ones that go right across, they're 10 miles an hour, yeah. sometimes less. And the same again, then depends how steep the, yeah. the curve of it is. Speed limit on this road? 10. 20. 20. There's 20 sign ahead of us. Oh, there. Now I see. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're trying to test me, aren't you, straight away? That's what it is. Oh. So, maximum speed 20. How fast yes, are you going? Yes. Got to keep an eye on her. She's the right crafty one, aren't you? <laughs> so, I say get your tyres lined up with both sides of the speed bump. And then it's a bit smoother, then, isn't it? Yeah and you're in your side of the road at the same time. Quite a bumpy road. Why do you think it's 20 mile an hour here? Um, by the way. Because of this bank, maybe? Anything else? We just passed two things. School? Two schools, yeah. yeah. One primary school, one secondary school. I think, yeah. I think it's a secondary school, that. So yeah, it's quite a busy area at certain times of the day. At the end of the road, we're gonna be going right, please. Any signs ahead of us that are going to help you? 40. 40, yeah. yeah. So you know the speed limit straight away, don't you? Bit of a closed junction here as well. Quite a bumpy road. That's good. Good, good, good. Just keep checking. Looks quite busy, doesn't it? Yeah. Sometimes when it's busy, you can't get out. And you've just got to kind of wait for the second cap. That, so don't take that risk, wait for the gap. <laughs> I know there's no, nothing on the left, but the right's quite a few cars. Um, I once had a student who waited five minutes on the driving test oh. at a junction and then failed. Oh. But she didn't fail for waiting, she fell for pulling out in front of the car. And the examiner says to her, why did you pull out at the end of the test? So I said, well, I thought I'd fail if I'd waited longer. And he oh. said, no, no, if you can't go, you can't go. Well done, that's nice. So, for anyone watching this, if you're just gently on that gas there, it's testing me again. Yeah. Gently does it? Yeah. The pedals. So if you have to wait at a junction, because it's packed, then you've got to wait. You've got to keep checking to your right and left, looking for gaps, looking for things that are going to open up to make it easy for you. What are the signs on the left telling you? The red, red. What the what's that red sign telling you? Red triangle. Humps. Humps, so anything else ahead of us? 30 miles. 30 mile an hour. How fast are you go over the speed humps? No. 10. 10? Mm -hmm. How fast are you going? That's better. <laughs> Remember, some more speed bumps there, humps. You've got to remember, if, if you go over a speed bump too fast on your test, you're going to pick up a fault. If you fly over them because you're hitting them way too fast for what, what's safe, then don't be surprised if you get serious for approach speed. So, I'm talking to the camera, but I'm also telling you at the same time, aren't I? just for people who are watching who are curious about how fast you go over speed bumps and it's basically 
you've got to look at them you know if, if there's a speed limit on and a speed bump sign then you've got to think about that what it should be So we've got two roundabouts coming up. We're gonna go ahead at the first and then left at the second. So ahead at the first roundabout and left at the second. Is that okay? Yes. Are you happy with that? Do you want to help? Do you want me to help you? Head and, head and left. Ahead and left. So it's left for both. with that first roundabout yes. all right just be a little bit careful you don't enter in too soon yeah. another second earlier than you've been entering before that right van would have got past one yeah. so you just got to be a little bit more aware of the car on your right coming through okay? okay it's a fine line between going and waiting sometimes yeah. but slow it down a little bit more let him get ahead of you yeah. it'll be safer because if he slows down on the roundabout because he misses a gear or something, then you're going to be braking, aren't you? Yeah. More speed bumps. How fast to go over again? Ten. Ten ones. Ten go, ones that go across ten mile an hour. Little square ones, fifteen, twenty. There's a, a roundabout coming up. We're going to go ahead at the roundabout. looking yeah is the car okay is it struggling okay all right if it starts to struggle what do you need to do I put gear down. go down gear yeah so there's a bit of a queue of traffic ahead of you. So what's a, what's a good thing to do at this point? To prepare to stop. Let's start slowing down. If you're going to slow down, what are you going to do with gears? That's it. That's the idea, yeah. Bit of a queue of traffic ahead of us, isn't it? Well, it's a good point to give way behind the car. This. <laughs> and that's it, yeah, uh, yeah. So if people are not sure how far away, Whoops. Oh. Now. Start the car again. Clutch down. And pull forward to the point where the turn is here. Gas. Gas. Biting point. And brake off. That's it. You try to pull off in second gear. Yes. Check your mirror, out you come. More gas, more gas, more gas, more gas, more gas, gas, gas. You can't stop at this can't point, stop. can you? Because you're in the middle of the road. Because you're going to be in the way of the car's coming down. So you've got to get out of the way. So as you pass the, the lights, it starts to change. You've got to go, haven't you? No. You can't just suddenly, because I've I seen your right foot go for the brake. No, I was thinking what to do. Well, you're already past that and you're going in the middle, so you've got yeah. to carry on going. At the roundabout, we're going to go ahead. Ahead. Ahead, yeah. That's it. Just slow it down. Slow down. Slow down. Think about the gears. That's it. Don't rush. Just get your gas. Get your biting point. That's it. Just pull forward slowly. That's it. Now, keep an eye on the car in front of you, because they might suddenly stop. And then when they go, start looking at the traffic on your right. Looking to get out when you can. That's it, yeah. You don't break that too. You see any gap yet? Yes. Well done, well done. It, that, that bleeping noise then, what was it? Yeah. 
what was it? Was the brake? Handbrake? The handbrake. Mm. So just fully take it off. Yeah. Which you kind of did straight away, but you really want to try and do it first time. First time, yeah. Because if you're doing that on the driving test a couple of times, you're going to get an handbrake fault for leaving it on. Because it's bleeping at you because it's on. Even if it's only for a couple of seconds. Okay. And the risk is the brakes are going to overheat because of the friction. Keep an eye on the lights, we've gone green for a while. Speed limit? 30. Well done. I'm only asking this because you missed speed limit before. Once. <laughs> Once is enough. Speed limit? 30. How fast are you going? 35. Slow down then. 32, it's out of mine then from here. Remember the car in front of you, they might go faster than the speed yeah. limit, but as soon as you as soon as you know what it is, keep an eye on your speed. Don't let it kind of creep over. Because you've got a nice clear road, you've got lots of trees. It looks like a faster road, but we're just past a school or a college, we're just past a, a train station. Yeah. And then at the end of this road, Jamila, we're going to be doing a right turn, please. That's good. Some more power on there, put some more power on. That's it. You started to pull it off nice then, but then you as you lifted the clutch, the gas wasn't there. Yes. Increased the gas. That's it just went quiet and quiet, didn't it? If you're struggling, say if people are watching this and they're struggling to pull off the stalling, I'll put a video at the top or in the description to do with clutch control. But what's happening then was it was nice to start with, we just gotta keep the power going. You let you letting it happen. Yeah. At the roundabout, we're going to do a right turn, taking the third exit. Okay. Okay. Not yet. No, Too no. soon. People might think at the roundabout. Mm -hmm. People think you're trying to go down there, won't they? Yeah. There's your roundabout in front of you. So right turn. And we're just going to pick a safe spot. See after that black car down there, we're going to pull over on the left. So there's two cars here on the left by that um, green bit, uh, blue bin. I'm going to pull over here, please. Okay, are you happy with that? All right, uh, so, I yeah. stalled. Stalled, yeah. Many times. How many times you stalled? Times. Two. Two times. Once when you at a junction, power. Mm. And then the other time was when you slowed down in traffic before the lights, wasn't it? Yeah. What caused that? Remember? Yeah, I remember. What was it then? I slowed down to... To give way to the traffic, yeah. and then you pull forward and stall. So what mm. caused stall? I don't know, remember why. Second gear. Second gear. Mm. First gear to pull off, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, um, we're going to turn the car around, is that all right? Okay. So we're going to do a turn in the road. Can you remember how to do them? Actually, tell me then, tell me. To turn back? Yeah, tell me, tell me what you're going to do. Well, I will watch around. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll make it in three maneuvers. And if you, can't, if, if you can't do it in three, mm. you can do it in five, can't you? More, five, okay. Yeah. We don't want you going on the pavement or the grass yeah. or the curb. Um, and just take your time and look where you want to go. Is that enough information? Yeah. Reckon you better do that? Mm. Take your time then. If you need help, just ask.
So it's a turn in the road. Okay. Do I need a bicycle? No, you don't need one. No, no. no one around. No one's going to benefit there. Oh, we'll just wait then. That's why I look around. Well done. Because if you pull out there, they'd be in the way, wouldn't you? Look. Okay. Yes. All right. And then um, pull over on the left just before the turn, but after this car. So we'll just get past this car so we're not blocking the road. But give yourself space from the junction. There you go. There's enough space now. Okay, then quick chat then about that manoeuvre. Happy with it? Yes. Done it in three, yeah. Done it in three. Done a bit of dry steering. Um, it's okay, dry steering. Some people don't like it, some people do. Mm. It'll put pressure on your power steering, I think. It'll yeah. So be, be careful of that. But um, the, the thing is, you're not going to be doing this turning road every day. Yeah. Yes. Um, and just be aware of what's happening over your shoulders. Yeah. A bit more of that. You're looking over your right shoulder quite nice. Mm. So just look over your left shoulder every now and then. But overall, not bad. Because we haven't done one of them for ages, have we? Yes. <laughs> and they're not on the test, but it's handy to have, isn't it? Really? If you'd like to see Jim Miller again, or you want to give some words of encouragement, then mm -hmm. by all means, put a comment below. Take care, everybody.